Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan is paying a hefty price for his opportunism. Just look at what's happening in Pakistan. Hardliners have taken over the streets. Extremists are running amok. Last month, the Pakistani Prime Minister ignited a fire. He accused the French President Emmanuel Macron of Islamophobia. He targeted Macron for going after radical Islam. But with his words, Imran Khan unleashed chaos within his own country. These are hardliners of Tehreek e Labaik, the far right Islamist political party in Pakistan. They held an entire country hostage when Asya Bibi was acquitted of her blasphemy charges. And now they are back on the streets to express their outrage against cartoons of Prophet Muhammad, egged on by Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan. These Islamists marched from Rawalpindi to Islamabad. Some claims suggest up to 5,000 people were on the streets. A heavy contingent of police personnel was present to stop the march. But like always, they were helpless before the Islamists. According to the Pakistani press, the police knew about the protest march. They conducted raids to detain the chief of Tehreek e Labaik, but they failed to catch him. Instead, they arrested more than 90 members. Another report claims more than 300 leaders, members, were detained. Even then, the cops failed to stop the march. Last night, hundreds of people were on the streets. We received some videos. It looks like the police had to use tear gas to push back the crowd. But the cops seem overwhelmed by the crowds. Reportedly, there was violence on the streets, with the protesters pelting stones at the police personnel. Earlier this month, thousands of hardliners from the Tehreek e Labaik marched in Karachi. This was led by their chief, Khadim Hussain Rizvi. He delivered a speech, and to call these words provocative would be an understatement. Khadim Hussain Rizvi said Pakistan should, I'm quoting, declare jihad against France. According to him, there is only one punishment for blasphemy beheading. That is what the supporters of Rizvi said when he asked them the question. This is unbelievable, but it is the truth. Kadim Hussain Rizvi has tacitly supported the terrorists who carried out the beheading in France. But that should not surprise you, since the protests against France began in Pakistan, we have seen the French flag being desecrated on the streets, effigies of Emmanuel Macron being burnt, a teacher beheading an effigy of Macron in front of young and impressionable minds. This happened in Islamabad. Religious teachers justified the killing to children in the name of honor. The hardliners have created chaos in front of French missions. The police in Islamabad had to bring in shipping containers to contain a march near the French embassy. Ultimately, the cops used tear gas to push the protesters back. While thousands in Pakistan have taken to the streets, the Tehreek e Labaik has led a relentless campaign against France in Pakistan. Reportedly, authorities in Pakistan kept a major road sealed for a second day today, a road that the hardliners want to use to get into Islamabad and march towards the French embassy. Islamabad's main entrance and exit points remained closed. The local authorities fear this could turn into a sit-in protest. And so they want to keep that major road closed. One estimate claims there could be as many as 1,000 people there Barbed wires, containers have been brought in, earlier mobile services were blocked, but the average Pakistani could be looking at difficult days ahead. The roads will be jammed, there is a network outage, with the Islamists threatening another takeover of Pakistan's capital city once again. Pakistan's common man has only Imran Khan to blame for this. He started the campaign against France, and now the hardliners seem to be taking it forward.